Hey everyone, so today is going to be a fun hike. I'm looking forward to this one. It's a little longer than usual. This is the Rocky Fork to Flint Gap Trail in the Cherokee National Forest. So I've taken a screenshot of the map where the trail ends and you can see it ends at Cold Spring Mountain. I actually want to try to make it to Green Ridge Knob because that's 4,856 feet. It's one of the highest peaks in the area. I just always look for the highest peaks. Um, I'm looking forward to this one. So let's, let's get going. So just keep in mind if you come up here, I park below. There's a parking area uh, at the trailhead. Um, the map doesn't show our whole trail. It's a really nice trail. Uh, so far, I just got started, but it's beautiful. So I can't even express how high the cliff on the left side on the, the walk up this trail is. It's just, you can't even see the sun shining through because it goes all the way up beyond the tops of these trees. It's really cool. Um, lots of greenery. This is pretty, you get, look at this. What a spot. explore in this forest along these trails it's i would say this is the prettier parts of cherokee national forest this trail too so far is pretty flat not much climbing so we're talking moderate i think all trails rating is correct on this one This is kind of a treat. I didn't realize this was here. There's actually a battle site. Uh, you just cross, after you cross the second wooden bridge, it's to the right. It's uh, kind of interesting. Let's take a look around. Been holding my breath for a moment to So what's interesting is 2.17 in the afternoon, it's all dark because of the tree cover. Then you have this little open field and I can hear crickets, which is, <laughs> I'm not used to hearing crickets this time of day. So it just gives it a little more of a interesting, peaceful feeling. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful spot. The uh, other side of the battleground connects to the, tr to the same trail. So I'll do a quick map, map check here so you can see how far we've gone and how much further we have to go to get to the first mountain. We're about a quarter of the way to the end of this trail. Then I'm going to take a right and head over to Cold Spring Mountain. So let's keep on going, try to make some time and get to the first mountain. Keep on going to the second mountain. Life's 
in long lost times ago Close my eyes so I can see the light Time stands still while the sun goes round Distant winds making silent sounds Daylight waiting So I just took another uh, map shot for you you can see that we're about halfway to the first turn that goes to the first mountain. So we're looking at another hour of walking. Um, it normally wouldn't probably take two hours to get to the end of this trail, but it will today. And it's just so beautiful here. Don't know if you can see it, but halfway up the cliff, there's a, a little, little waterfall, actually. So it comes down over there, breaks in between underneath those fallen trees, and you can see down there. It kind of comes meanders down through, and then it joins the main stream right down there. It's just that is stunning. What I rarely see uh, cascades that high. Um, that isn't a tourist trap and a bunch of people around. I don't, it's kind of a rare treat, you know, to enjoy something like that on your own. That is so pretty. All right, intersection time. You can see where Flint Creek Trail intersects this other trail. This is Block Stand Creek Trail. So we're gonna do a quick map check here. This trail goes in completely the wrong direction. Uh, we're not gonna take that one. We're going, continue going toward Cold Spring Mountain. You just have to stay, stay left when you see, when you cross that brook and you see um, that trail if you're off to the right, stay left. But let's keep going. This is why you do map checks because I almost accidentally took this left, but you can see we actually want to take this Appalachian Trail uh, branch. We're going to take that access trail, join the Appalachian Trail, and make our way up to the mountain. Just be warned, the last part that gets to the Appalachian Trail is a bit of a climb. It's a series of switchbacks. This is going to be a workout. That was a steep climb. There's the Appalachian Trail comes down from the left, goes off to the right. There are actually little backcountry campsites here scattered throughout. We are at the intersection. To get to the mountain we want to go to, we have to take a right. We don't we don't want to take that left that way. And go up those steps. The trail kind of goes, it doesn't go to the summit of Cold Spring Mountain unless there's a, an access trail that cuts across. We're gonna be basically at the top. Let's just keep going. So you know what? Screw the first summit. You can see on the map, it winds around. It takes a long about way of doing it, but it does go to the second summit. It's a 4,000 footer. I really want to see it today. So I'm just going to keep on going and um, we'll get to the second summit. And see those views, I bet they're even better. So let's go.
Okay, so this trail, Grand Ridge, it's only 0.1 miles to the um, other trail. This is the intersection we were looking for. So we're gonna take this left. Uh, it's not that far to the mountain, let's go. Not frequently traveled. Follow the yellow blazes. Watch out for snakes. Nobody comes on this trail. I just came up from this way, there's no marking. When I come back down through, I'm gonna have to remember when I see this road here, to look in the woods down there for the yellow blaze, but if it's dark, that's not easy. So I gotta remember to cross this road, go straight through, because we're going right up here. So you ever have those moments when you're like, am I doing the right thing right now? I'm having one of those moments. This is a rarely traveled trail. It's a steep climb. I mean, it's going up the mountain. So I know there's gonna be a summit at some point, but I'm seeing lots of foliage. So if I get to the top and there isn't a view, I'll be really disappointed. I'm hitting spider webs. No one comes up here. Will it be worth it? I don't know. I'm doing a map check right now. I missed whatever left turn supposedly goes off. Just back there. I didn't see any trail. We're in a network of like hunting trails. I really want to see the top of this mountain. Foliage or not, view or not. I just want to say that I made it. So let's just hope there's a nice view. Oh, more bear scat. <laughs> oh well. Hey bear. <laughs> let's keep on going. So you can see we're just walking along the summit. I don't think there's gonna be any any kind of rock or outlook. Maybe up ahead, I see it, uh, it looks like it stops right here. It might be that there used to be a beautiful view up here, right at this opening, I am sure of it. I'll try to see if I can get you over the foliage so you can see the view. This is it, I'm gonna raise you up and let's we'll see if we can get a view here. Four forty three. There's not really a place to take a break here. I might take a break at the campsites at that intersection. I'm starving. I burned 1,729 calories. Let's get down this mountain and head back home. We made it to the campsite at the intersection. The rest is literally all downhill. So, ooh, nice and smushed protein bar. I don't know if I'm gonna run the rest of the way because my thighs are killing me. I 2,200 calories. I've never done that on a single day hike. I might stretch a little bit. If my thighs feel better, I may jog a little. I'm gonna have my protein bar, which is only 290 calories, and an apple, which is probably 100. It doesn't make up the 2,000, but it gives me some, uh, some it recovers some energy. I don't know if I'd even recommend the mountain, unless you want to be able to say that you hiked a 4,000 footer, starting at an ele elevation of probably, I think it was 2,800. A challenge you can say that you accomplished. All right, I'm gonna rest here, finish up my snacks, get some water, then we'll head out. The sun is rising, your shadows fall behind. When all the weight you carry is weighing on your mind, I'll be there to show you all the things you're missing and everything we go. All right, break's over. Uh, it's now 541. Um, that's Appalachian Trail we just came from. It keeps going in that direction. We're gonna take this left, uh, which is marked, believe it or not, by nothing more than an orange ribbon. <laughs> so let's get back to the car uh, as fast as we can and head home. So you can see it's getting kind of dark. Uh, we made it to the access trail intersection. We're now on the main trail, Flint Mountain Trail, or Flint Creek Trail, actually. Uh, we might try that someday, see what that mountain looks like. It's more traveled, so maybe the views are, are better, but that'll be a different day. Take a left, head down.
the clouds and let them be Keep every story of your days a mystery Hear the songs in the breeze Sing out your wins and trials like a melody Ride the storms with your head held high We only breathe till the day we die I would highly recommend just going to a, even a park or a place that's maybe half a mile walk to a stream. Go around five, six o'clock and just sit by the water. It becomes twilight in the forest before it becomes twilight everywhere else because of the, the leaves and the canopy blocking the light. So that's what makes it so surreal because if you look up and it's bright up there, like there's this world out there that's brighter and not quite as magical as the one you're in. That feeling is anywhere in the forest. When you really let yourself become engulfed by nature again, it brings back your self-awareness, brings back your excitement and your energy and, and just your connection with Earth rather than your connection to the world. I can't explain it and words don't do it justice. Get out in the woods, get out in nature often. Get away from stress, worry about work, family, and what's going to happen next year and am I going to be able to pay the bills? All that stuff are things to worry about, but not really because this is the place you're from. Animals don't worry about taxes. My cell phone broke so I got to get a new one. They worry about where the next meal is going to come from. And it makes you realize if you have your next meal, if you have a place to live and you have loved ones, really what is there to worry about? other than things that we think we want. I think if you spend enough time out here, you'll realize that you don't really want them. You're craving something that you think things, material things can fill, and so you get them and they don't. It doesn't matter. This is what matters. Your next meal, shelter, warmth, being alive. Being alive is all that matters. If what you're worried about is not gonna kill you, stop worrying about it. It doesn't matter. You're alive. Be happy you're alive. It's all that matters. Nothing can take you down. All right, so I made it back to the road. As usual, my car is one of the last ones. The last one's parked up there, so um, it's late. I hope you enjoyed this hike. I hope you enjoyed the views. David, I hope, I know you love waterfalls. I couldn't get you a big waterfall, but that cliff spot was beautiful so i hope you all enjoyed the hike today i know i did it was it was a lot of fun beautiful beautiful views thank you all for coming along i hope you enjoyed the hike and i'll see you next time <laughs>